Hey guys, here with Scott Byerly. We're here to talk about his brand new 2008 Byerly Monarch. This thing is off the charts light. I don't know how you guys ever come up with something this light, but this thing is way lighter than any Byerly board ever produced before or any board I've actually picked up. Uh, going to boat shows and stuff, people just can't believe the weight of this thing. I guess uh, that new atomic core you guys put in has really, really helped out in that. Yeah, for sure. We got the new atomic core. You have to CNC machine every core out before you make a board. Um, super thin. Uh, yeah, the, the core is definitely what makes it uh, yeah, super light. Yeah, uh, most all the boards we've produced in the past have all been compression molded cores where you actually take a material and you pour it in a mold and cook it under heat and pressure. But this thing, you guys actually buy this material, have a robotic arm program programmed that comes out and uh, grinds this thing out to the exact shape, and it takes twice as long to do one, yeah. but obviously the end result is unbelievable. Yeah, it's super uh, flexy, super good pop off the weight, and you know, no swing weight at all when you're riding it. So, okay, Scott, we took this atomic core, had it CNC routed, and then took it over to Butch, and you and him decided to go to the shaping table and come out with something completely different as well. Huh? Yeah, we um, usually it's just me and Butch going, you know, doing boards. But actually had the whole team go over to Butch's house, and uh, we all got together and made a bunch of notes and what each person wanted. You know, Robbie wanted something different than Kyle, and Ross wanted something different from them, and we all just sort of collaborated on it and came up, and this is the end result. Good deal. I know it's a, as all the barley boards, it's a abrupt three-stage rocker line. Well, uh, we actually um, mellowed out the three-stage on this board. It's not as abrupt as it is. Oh, on the not as abrupt as some of the yeah. other ones. All right. So you guys are looking for a little bit more speed by yeah, mellowing that definitely out. Definitely got faster for sure. And then we don't. The channels aren't as deep as the Legacy, and the molding and fins are smaller also. So um, it's way looser than the Legacy board, and it's way way faster. Well, I know when you guys press this thing out, and the tip and the tail, it's just paper thin, and that's where you're reducing some of that swing weight as well. In fact, uh, Butch was telling me that the uh, tip and tail got so thin that it actually gave the board, you can do nose presses and, and uh, a lot of different things you guys haven't been able to do off the weight before with this. Yeah, definitely. Like, Robbie Jakes, he's real good on the rails, and he can really press this board super good, like, like he's on a snowboard for sure. Well, actually, um, after you got this really thin tip and tail, we actually uh, come in and uh, put a raised platform under the, the forefoot of the board to stiffen it up a little bit to control that flex because you guys are actually getting too much bend in the board. But now with this control panel here, uh, it's actually eliminated some of that and control the flex where you guys wanted it uh, in the strategic places on the board. Yeah, right in front of your front of your boot, your front and your back boot, it flexes right here. Well, I'll tell you what, after watching everybody ride it, including uh, some other team riders, everybody's on fire about this board, and I think it's going to be one of the best barleys ever produced. That's the hot item right now.